going on, Furious Pete? Let's stand down the stair mount, sir. I'm doing Chester Rule. It is Chester Rule. The road to 500. Back from Vegas. First chest workout back from Vegas. And we're getting right into it. It is machines and dumbbells. It's all about variety when trying to get stronger, in my opinion. You gotta mix up the exercises, mix up the repetitions, mix up everything. I'm getting to work. Um, yeah, let's do it. I finally got the Goku. Starting to get through my stream and I'm getting more energized. I can feel it. Uh, starting off with a little bit of a lightweight, just incline hammer press. And then we're gonna move to dumbbell presses. I'm gonna do a little variety, a little bit of like triceps and stuff like that. I think it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel really good. Getting into some dumbbell presses right now. Shoulders are on fire. What does that mean? That means I didn't warm up my shoulders properly. And I need to. So getting a couple of dumbbells. I just did some of those for uh, the dumbbell presses, but I grabbed some of these and just to warm up my shoulders a little. And uh, definitely helps. Warm up with those shoulders before chest. Very, very, very important. But uh, my battery's gonna die pretty soon here. I'm an idiot. Didn't plan well enough. Won't make this mistake again during the series. I promise. Done in the gym. I was gonna vlog a bit more, but my, like I said, big mistake with the battery. Didn't bring another one. I thought this one was fully charged, and uh, it was not. Um, but one thing that I wanna emphasize is the chest. Chest strength, and we're gonna go over this, is not just about chest. Like, getting a bigger bench is not just about having a strong chest. We gotta have strong shoulders, and we gotta have strong triceps. Those are really, really important. And so, we gotta work on those. And when I say we, you know, we're all working on this together. So, um, I am going to be working on them, and you guys are gonna be joining me uh, in this entire series. So, you guys have to work on your shoulders and your triceps as well. That's it, it was a good chest workout back from Vegas. Uh, time to hit up Costco and get some eats. I don't know if I'll be able to record because I think my battery will die. And some goods. The raspberries were on sale, so naturally two bags, organic raspberries. These are delicious. Blueberries, got some eggs, provolone for the gains, some guac because I just I'm addicted to guac, so is she. I love it. This is the best one. And we got some water. Arugula. And we need more food. More food. Most uh yes. we need more food. Can I just get it? Okay. Faster. Okay. I need it now. I'm for round two of working out, and I'm doing a little abs. You may think, oh, you're trying to get stronger and all that. I'm trying to make sure my core gets stronger too. And I feel like I've been not training abs that often, and I kind of see it. I kind of see it. I used to have more definition there. Um, even when I get leaner, just more definition, you see it more. I kind of just wanted to be back, and I simply just want to get stronger. And yes, abs do get worked through deadlift squats, uh, even bench press, but you can really build them up as well. So I'm doing that. I'm using the rings, and I do uh, knees to elbows, and they, they are probably my favorite exercise for abs. Uh, when I was doing the Furious 60, and when you guys are doing the Furious 60, when you're doing the Furious 60 cutting guy, I, I incorporate that a lot because... Um, I love it, I love it. I love it so much, I think it's really effective and it gets, it gets really tiring um, and you have to really just focus on those abs and they really do come through uh, the more you focus and the more you just pressure, you know, put pressure on them and they are just, they're just great, fantastic, fantastic. I think that'll be it for today. Next time I'll record some ab exercises, how I do them and everything. Got a little bit of an arm pump rolling Look at that forearm. That forearm is big and growing and having a good time. So, time to go home, eat up dinner, and uh, eat up dinner. The next day, cooking up some eggs. It's got Furious here chilling. He's trying to pretend like nothing's going on because he's already had breakfast. He's like, I'm hungry. Feed me, feed me. 
cooking up some food. So I got eggs. I got myself some toast. Ooh. You know, this is bad news when you got some. You're trying to do like perfect um, coloring on your toast, perfect toast. And it just, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. These guys are almost perfect. And so I'm gonna chow down. Um, whenever I'm trying to build strength, I do focus on breakfast a lot. I truly feel like breakfast is, especially growing up as I was, like over the last 10 years, 15 years even, of, maybe not 15 years, but 10 plus years of loving fitness and learning a lot and getting stronger over the years. One of the big things, and I mean like really big things, I'm gonna emphasize this, on like main channel videos, because this is a vlog, because I really want to drill this home to a lot of people. If you are into the strength game, and you're trying to eat also pack on mass, breakfast has to be like one of the most, if not the most important meal. I don't care about your damn post-workout meal shit. Breakfast is the tits. Like it has to be there. It has to be smack, like smack on, spot on. It just has to be there. And if you're not doing breakfast to the best of your abilities, then you are just simply not going to progress. I, I think personally that my results uh, over the years had a big, like breakfast had a big, big part in its say. And so um, I have my breakfast here. I'm going to chow down. I also like to put a little sugar-free barbecue sauce. I know that's kind of weird for some people, but I really enjoy it on top. Um, not a lot, just sparingly. Um, but that's a little bit of flavor, and that's it. So I got my eggs, I got my, my carbs. Um, I don't know, we got some crazy pieces of toast bread um, from Costco, and it's huge. It doesn't fit in our toaster, so I totally over-toasted this, and that's so disappointing. So just, I like that perfect, perfectly toasted toast. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know? This is done. My aminos are being drank. My aminos are being drank. There's nothing left here. He thinks there's something left on the plate. There's nothing. Um, food is done, and that means I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you again for watching. Uh, the Furious Pete. This is the Furious Pete second channel, the Furious Pete vlog channel. Oktoberfest coming up soon, um, but we got a lot of work to do before then. Practicing for Oktoberfest and simply just doing a lot of work. Furious, I want to just say bye to you guys. We'll catch you guys. We'll catch you guys later. As always, my friends, follow me on all the socials. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. Boom.